This show is brought to you by... U.S. markets continue their rally, and Meta says the AI tech behind ChatGPT is already at a dead end. You're watching The Daily Brief with Forbes. I'm Ramia Faraj. Wall Street rose once again overnight with the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq closing at their highest levels in 14 months. It came after data showed U.S. consumer prices rose by 4% year-on-year in May compared to 4.9% in April. That raised hopes that the Fed will pause its interest rate hikes at today's meeting after raising rates 10 times running. Investors fear higher borrowing costs will tip the economy into recession. The ECB, meanwhile, is expected to raise rates tomorrow after Canada and Australia raised rates last week. And those gains are reflected in today's Forbes Real Time Billionaires ranking, which tracks the daily ups and downs of the world's wealthiest people. Our biggest winner today is Elon Musk, who gained $5.8 billion overnight after Tesla closed the session 3.55% higher for its 13th straight session of gains. Our second biggest winner is American grocery chain Mogul Rick Cohen. He's up $2.5 billion with net wealth of $21.2 billion. And our third place winner is Japanese retailer Tadashi Yanai up $2.3 billion with net wealth of $39.8 billion. A U.S. judge has temporarily blocked Microsoft from completing its $69 billion buyout of gaming giant Activision Blizzard at the request of the Federal Trade Commission. A hearing will begin on June 22nd. Xbox owner Microsoft is bidding for Activision Blizzard as it seeks to establish the world's third biggest gaming firm after China's Tencent and Japan's Sony. The EU has greenlit the deal while Britain blocked it, arguing it would harm competition in cloud gaming. The FTC has similar issues with the deal. Meta's chief scientist says generative AI, the technology behind ChatGPT, is already at a dead end. Yan LeCun is instead promising new AI resembling human rationality. He said today AI and machine learning really sucks. Humans have common sense, machines don't. LeCun spoke as Meta announced its latest AI project called GPA. The project seeks to move beyond ChatGPT like generative AI and give machines the ability to conceptualize abstract ideas and not just regurgitate what exists online. European Parliament lawmakers will vote today to approve the world's first sweeping rules on AI systems like ChatGPT. The goal is to curb potential harms while nurturing innovation. Although the EU's plans date back to 2021, the draft rules took on greater urgency when ChatGPT exploded onto the scene last year. Once adopted by the EU Parliament, negotiations for a final law will begin almost immediately. The race is on to strike an agreement on final legislation by end year. Closer to home, Egypt expects a deficit of $26.7 billion or 6.96% of GDP for the financial year 2023 to 2024, which starts on July 1st. The figure compares to a deficit of $18 billion or 6.1% of GDP approved for the previous fiscal year. The budget also estimates real GDP growth of 4.1%. This falls short of Morgan Stanley's 5% growth expectation. Egypt's annual urban consumer inflation rate climbed to 32.7% in May, fueled by higher food and beverage costs. And Saudi has announced a new instant tourist e-visa facility for the U.S., the U.K. and Schengen visa holders and permanent residents of the U.S., the U.K. and EU countries. It's part of its drive to boost tourism in line with its Vision 2030. The tourist e-visa option can be availed by holders of a valid tourism or business visa from any of the eligible countries through the official website of the Saudi Ministry of Foreign Affairs. This is the Daily Brief. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. This show is brought to you by.